Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode. My name is Eros and this is my Minecraft world. Last episode we added in the furniture add-on which added all these cute little plushies that you guys can see here and tons and tons of furniture over a thousand and it has been a lot of fun crafting and making and decorating and I want to make some more today. Let me go ahead and put on my armor real quick. And I want to make the new grandfather clocks because you guys have been saying in the comments that they're really cool. Uh, we do have grandfather clocks from the another furniture add-on, but we have some new options now. So let's see, there's a fancy one and a not so fancy. Let's make fancy. We want to be fancy up in here. So we're going to need to make some clocks. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So grab some gold and we need some redstone. And let's go ahead and make that into dust and make some clocks. Uh, let's make both, I guess, the small fancy one and the the normal size one and see how they look. And let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to need wood and some sticks. Let's go ahead and turn these into planks. And we're going to make a couple more sticks too, just so we have them to use for building. There we go. And hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah. So let's make the fancy one because we're fancy up in here. We're bougie. We're going to make the fancy tall one and we'll make the fancy little one too and put it down. I want to see how it kind of looks next to the other clock that we have because we have this one really cool down here that goes back and forth. Uh, but I guess we'll just have a bunch of clocks. Oh. 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 Very nice. I like it. Oh, I think it's better. I think it's better. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Samira has been saying that like, um, like a bird will pop out of it. So I'm interested to see maybe when it's like turning night or day or something, we'll see something pop out. But yeah, we'll keep you updated on that. But very cool. Like that a lot. Also, do you see this pot here? Holding these peonies. They did it. They finally have done it. Let's go ahead and move this little black kitty. Still need to name you. Uh, oh, are you stuck on the clock? Let's go ahead and move this clock so you're not stuck in it. Uh, little kitty. Okay. You you just be stuck in that clock. Uh, but yeah, so... Oh! Oh! Wait, we missed it almost. <laughs> Wait, I heard the noise. I was like, so, like, I thought the cat was dying. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe we'll see it again, but um, this basket can hold not only the normal, like, one tall flowers, like other flower pots, but, but it can also hold two tall flowers. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, they did it. They have done it. I put some roses out here, too. I love the option of having my tall flowers in flower pots. I think that is so cool. Uh, I also made a little broom over here. Very nice. And this right here is very cool too. This is like a little uh, tool rack where you can put some of your tools in on they kind of display which is pretty awesome. I like that. I wonder if it works with the Omni tool. Let's go ahead and see. No not not that but the vanilla tools it looks really nice and you have two slots and you can put your little tools on. I want to see the birds come out feel bad that we missed it so I'm just gonna wait here and we can experience it together <laughs> oh my gosh that is so cute I love it these are amazing <laughs> put these around our world for sure I think I saw did I see grandson out here I saw one of my one of my parrots out here flying around <laughs> grandson is that you grandson what are you doing up there you do escape the house. We're gonna have to do a rescue mission. Uh, I put a bunch of stuff in this one just so I have like all my books and tools that I might need while we're on our adventures in here. And uh, grandson, where'd you go? Oh my gosh, and Nyla, why are you outside too? What is going on here? I don't know where you went. We'll find him then one day. Uh, let's go ahead and move my Nyla inside and I guess we can go to sleep. Hi fish cat, how are you? Tell grandson to come back inside. He needs to come back inside where he belongs. Uh, Alright. Nyla, let's come inside. And I guess we'll keep an eye out for grandson. And maybe one day we'll get him back inside. 
And I do want to make some other things today. I'm very interested in making the new placeable items, specifically like the food items. I think that's really cool and it adds a lot to the game. Uh, I, oh, when I was making another ender chest, I did see that you could make placeable eyes or ender pearls, which is really cool. I didn't place it down yet, so I wanted to place it down with you guys. Uh, well, let's go ahead and that's cool. That is so good for decorations. That is going to be amazing. I also made a globe over here too. I'm kind of like playing out, playing around with all the new stuff. And I think we can spin it. Yeah, we can spin the globe. Isn't that awesome? That's so cool. I guess we can go ahead and put our placeable eye of ender right here too. It's one of our little treasures that we have. And down here I made some new ones. And I was corrected in the comment section. Actually, the developers of this add-on saw my video and they liked it. And they let me know that you guys can actually place, or we can all, place the items on top of the cabinets. Or you can also break them too, like I did. Um, technical difficulties. <laughs> let's, let's, let's fix that. And this is where all my fruit goes. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. But yeah, last time I couldn't place anything on top of the counters and it was kind of sad because I want to place things on the counters but you can you can place things on the counters they were telling me you have to look at the block behind it and then you can place it on the counter like so which I think is really cool here's a new one that I mean this is a placeable baked potato very good and here's the pumpkin pie the beetroot soup golden apple very nice we have a chicken dinner which looks so good that's gonna go perfect in a restaurant and also a placeable little cookie which is amazing so this one i stare at the brewing stand and i can place it down there so that is very nice i also added some display cases up here for uh for our fine china in our kitchen <laughs> i just think it's funny <laughs> just put a bunch of our wooden bowls up there Oh yeah, and I also made a cookie jar, which is really cool. It really brings me back to like uh, Mr. Crayfish or something back like 10 years ago when you could make some of this stuff. So this is the cookie jar and you can go ahead and place that down and inside you can place yummy, delicious little cookies, which I think is amazing. I also made this, which is an empty mug and I think you can actually fill it with glow berries if i'm not mistaken i think i have some i got these berries i wonder if it works with sweet berries probably not i think it's just the glow berries um but i have some berries around so let's let's find a berry <laughs> we need to fill up our mug okay we're not addicted we're not addicts we just we just like to have a drink every now and then okay and there we have a filled mug which is an empty mug plus a glow berry and the empty mug is just a bunch of planks and some sticks and a filled mug. I wonder if we can drink it. I don't think so. I think it's just for decorations, but yeah, as you can see, there's some uh, yummy looking glowberry juice inside, which is going to be perfect for decorating our different areas. I'm just going to place it up there for now, just to remind us that we don't have a problem and we can leave it there and everything's fine. I think we should go ahead and make some oak lamps. I think that would look really good in our kitchen. We can get rid of some of these lamps like this and upgrade it to some of these so they're really really easy to make and let's go ahead and place it down and see how it looks um goodbye lamp you served us well but it's time for a new look and we can go ahead and right click and turn it on look at that i love that animation of the light beam coming out i think that is so cool so let's go ahead and place a couple in here and revamp revamp our lighting system in our kitchen for now We'll break that one and that one and this one just to kind of see how much light we're going to need uh, to light up this house. And let's go ahead and click it on. Very nice. Oh, that's cool. I like that. All right, let's put two more. Let's put one there. And we got it closer to actually turn it on. There we go. And we'll go ahead and place one more maybe right there. It's not there, but right here for now. I think that'll be nice. Let's go ahead and collect these up and turn it on. There we go, and we can go ahead and remove that one. Oh, hello, fine china. You guys are beautiful. Very, very nice. And look at that. We upgraded our lighting system. I did see another item that I was very, very intrigued with, and I want to see if we can make it. I think I need some more wood. 
because it popped up. Um, these these carts are really cool too. I already made some. I guess we'll make another one so I can show you guys. Uh, and there's a large wooden cart too. Um, and there's some log stacks I made. I'll show you. Where was it? It was this barred door is so cool. I'm definitely going to use one of these for our bunker, I think. Um, I'll show you when we get there. But let me go ahead and show you guys these real quick. And I'll show you the the wood stack too, which is really cool. I kind of put it by my fireplace. Why is there, why is there a feather right there? Oh my gosh. Bailey, do you, do you think grandson went down there? Did grandson burn up? No. Um, no, because I would have said, right? Yeah, I would have said grandson burned or something, right? If I named it? I don't know. But I guess he's not technically a pet because he just flies around. I don't know. Does grandson die? Oh no. Uh, but log stacks are very nice, right, Bailey? <laughs> it's wonderful. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Um,. But yeah, here is a small wooden barrel and the large one too, which is really nice. You can actually like place things in it too, which is really cool. And you can stand on top of it. I think this will be perfect for like our our farmer's market that we're making. We can put little like items on there that we want to sell. Well, let's go ahead and break this. Oh my gosh, I hope that wasn't grandson though. I'm still thinking about grandson. Oh no. Uh, let's go to sleep and let's see how this door looks by the bunker area. I think that would go quite well with that. And I also want to work on making like a grand dining room in our castle today. But let's go ahead and sleep in our nice queen size bed. Very nice. So much room very very spacious and nice let's put away a couple of items that we don't quite need right now and i think what i'll do is we'll move our kitties over to the cat castle and kind of show them what kind of castle they have because they've never seen it yet at least the new ones the new ones haven't seen it yet <laughs> uh is that all of our kitties i think so right we still need to name our platypus too, but oh, where's Nyla? Nyla? Where did she go? Is she upstairs? I think maybe I left her upstairs? Yeah, I left her upstairs with you! We gotta name- we'll name you today. I think I'm gonna name you. I think there's some name suggestions. I'll go look in the comments and see. Uh, I guess we can bring our puppies too. Because I want to put this door by the puppy bunker. So let's move everybody because our house is getting kind of crowded. We'll leave Ileana and String Bean and Greedy and our platypus for now. And Emma, our little, little girl, we'll leave her here for now. We'll go to the puppy bunker first, even though the cat castle is right there. Because I just want to see how the store looks. And then we'll work on making a dining room for our kitties. And I don't think I actually ever showed you guys, like, the full tunnel. I know I was working on it at one point, but I think the day I got the World Utilities mod, uh, I was working on this tunnel, but this is the tunnel that is in between the cat castle and the puppy bunker. And we come through here. I gotta make a better bridge for this, but, you know, it's it's a work of progress. Uh, but right here, I'm thinking it would be an amazing place for this giant door. It's so cool. I forget exactly how much room it needs, uh, but let's see if we can place it. Uh, hello? Hello? I placed it before and it's like big. Maybe it needs more room. Maybe it's too small down there. Let's see how big it- look at that. Look how big it is. That is awesome. So it looks like it's- takes up two blocks and it's three blocks tall so maybe it's not tall enough to put in here let's go ahead and give it some more space so it has more room to be placed here and excuse me 
We might have to set down some of our pups. Uh, oh, okay, cool. It works there. I guess it's not going to be centered because we have a, a three by three, but I think it's so cool that it doesn't even matter. And we'll just go ahead and put the wall back in. And now we have a proper bunker door that looks amazing. I guess we can go ahead and expand a little bit this way so it's a little bit more centered, you know? Gotta rearrange some stuff, but I think it looks really awesome. And I think it fits the vibe. Might even fit the vibe for the castle, too. We'll have to see <laughs> what we want to do. But that door is so cool. All right, puppies. Let's go ahead and set them down by our skeleton grinder for now. Um, Let's see. What have I done? I've done a little bit of work here. Kind of just clearing out a bunch of stuff. I want to make a nice little loft area where we can see the grinder. But let's set them down by some of our wolves over here. And we get free piranha. Alright, puppies. Where'd they go? Alright, Bailey. You can sit down here. And, oh, did I, f I forgot Amora. Did I forget Amora? Maggie, you can sit here. Where's our little dash hound? Is she at the house? There's Nyla. I know we have a dash hound somewhere. Let's go back and see if we can find our dash hound. There she is! Amora, what are you doing up there? Alright, let's take you to the bunker. I want to show you the new door. And you can see the skeleton grinder. And the big door. Isn't it great, Amora? Oh, I love it. I love the animations. I love the noise. Oh, it opens up that way, too. It's multi-purpose. We love it. So let's go ahead and set down Amora over here by our other puppies. And I think we can actually make like dog beds and stuff now or just like pet beds. Oh wait, what's that? Pebbles. What's a pebbles? Oh, that's cute. We can make cute little pathways. Oh my goodness. I keep finding new things every single time I log in that I'm like, oh, that's amazing from this furniture mod I think it's from. Oh man. Pebbles. That's really cool. Um, anyways, Amora, you can sit down there and how do we make the pet beds? Yeah, we can make all different color pet beds. All we need is wool and sticks. So we'll definitely be able to make them very soon for all of our different pets. They can all have a nice little bed to sleep on. But let's go ahead and move our kitties on over. Is there... There's our... There's our grinder. Or a skelly grinder. Oh, there's some skeletons. We can go ahead and get you. There we go. And actually, this is kind of cool. So with the furniture mod, I know I'm kind of going all over the place, but there's so much stuff. And it's so exciting. Uh, I'm going to set down the cats for now. Just so everybody can, like, just chill for a moment. There you go. And so we have tons and tons of arrows and bows that we got from from this grinder obviously and then a bunch of bones that we like to use but now we can make some items let's see we can make we can make a placeable bow with all these damaged bows if we wanted to like use them for decorations somewhere which i think would be good in the puppy bunker because that's kind of their thing is like the skeletons and stuff and we can also make uh placeable quivers too which we have tons of arrows so it's gonna go maybe we'll build like an armory area with a bunch of stuff uh with the bows and the quivers i think that would be really cool but yeah inventory is full can i make anything fun with the bones anything new let's see if anything new pops up but ooh, tiled oak planes very interesting. Man, th this furniture add-on is actually, like, really, really good. So, <laughs> if you're thinking about getting it, and if you like any of this stuff, I recommend it, because it's really awesome, and everything has been really great so far. Uh, Alright, I don't think anything with the bones. Oh, we can make we can make new different types of these oak ones, too. We can make chiseled oak. Oh, man, we can do all different types of, of wood, and I'm assuming it works for the different the other like colors of wood too, like spruce and dark oak and birch, uh, wooden pathways. We got so many options for paths. We can use pebbles, little wooden stuff. Oh my gosh, so cool. Okay, getting distracted. 
but it's okay. Let's see how the placeable bow looks. Oh, that looks cool. We got these placeable bows because we have so many bows we don't even know what to do with. And then we have all these quivers. Oh, this is beautiful. I love it. This place is going to look great. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and move our kitties over. We're going to go to the cat castle and make like a dining area because I want to like make a bunch of the placeable food items. I think that would be awesome. And there's like new wallpapers we can make too. And some of the big giant tables we can place down. Hello, Jane. I brought the rest of the crew over to check out the castle. We'll go ahead and set down Shadow, Teddy Bear. Oh, cute little otter, so cute. You're sleeping. And where did our other kitties go? I know I told you to follow me. There, you guys are stuck at the door. Let's see if we can help him out. Oh no. Oh no. Hello? Hello? Uh, there's a traffic jam. But maybe we can fix it. Come on, kitties. What's going on? Are they still getting stuck? No. They're good. They're good to go. Alright, perfect. And we'll sit down, Tiger. And Teddy Bear. Shadow, you're sitting down. Little Black Kitty. I think we're gonna name you. I just looked at the comments on my videos and I think I found the perfect name for you, little guy. So let's go ahead and add you to the book of pet names. And we'll need an anvil and a name tag. And Malcolmhoy6244 suggested that we name the black cat Onyx, which I think is a perfect name. So let's go ahead and give you your name. There you go, buddy. Welcome to the cat fam. So I'm looking at all these different wallpapers that are from the furniture add-on and they all look so cool. I definitely want to build tons and tons of rooms so we can decorate them with all this cool stuff. But I'm thinking about our dining room and this one right here looks really cool. The decorated light gray wallpaper, which is the plain gray one, which is just this. So it is gray dye, light gray dye with oak planks surrounded to get that one and then you can use that and surround it with another light gray dye and make a bunch of these and turn it into these really pretty decorated light gray wallpapers. I think that would be nice. So maybe use something like this and then maybe use like the pink one to kind of go along. And it looks like this. So I think this would make a really nice room. So maybe we'll do, let's do the pink on the bottom as like a border. And we can use this as the wallpaper for the main room. Yeah, that's gonna look really cool. Very fancy for a little dining room area. And then I want to place down a bunch of the placeable foods and decorations. Also, these chandeliers are awesome. Uh, think of it hanging up in the air, but look at that. Oh yeah, we need to actually light them up with a flint and steel because they're candles. So let me go ahead and get one of those out and light it up. That looks cool. Let's get to building.
I think this is a lovely start to our dining hall, but we're missing some food and some places at the table. So let's go ahead and start with a flower in the middle. I love that we can put two tall flowers in those flower pots. I think it's so cool. Uh, you can get a pumpkin pie. You can get an apple. Uh, let's go ahead and make, we can make a filled mug. You can get a drink. And then over here, let's do, we can place down the salmon too. I mean, this is a cat castle, so I'm sure the cats would be very pleased, you know, just to eat some salmon. Can we make it go, let's see. Yeah, we can place it all the way around. That's really cool. What we can do, uh, we got some cooked beef over here. We got some cooked chicken. Uh, maybe we'll move it up because there's a lot of meat over on this side. Let's go ahead and we'll switch out the apple over here and put that there and we'll put the apple right there for now and oh you know what i do want to make this we're not going to talk about it but it looks really cool <laughs> so that is awesome uh oh yeah we got cookies we can make a place with a little cookie and we'll go ahead and place that right there and i do want to make a cookie jar on the table just because you know people might want extra cookies and sometimes, you know, you just got the urge. So let's go ahead and place a bunch of cookies in there. Very nice. And let's see what else do we got. We got we got a golden apple. Maybe we'll have that in the middle up for grabs for somebody. And we do want some more stuff, but I think it's pretty full for now. So I'm liking the way that's looking. Oh, I love the placeable items. That is so good. Very, very nice. This is awesome, and I think once we find some more of the different plants and foliage, we can go ahead and decorate more in here. Oh, also added this big keg over here, which is really cool. <laughs> I love it. Maybe we should build like a wine room somewhere uh, and have that. But yeah, like this mushroom cluster is a special item from, yeah, all this different foliage, like these clovers, we got duckweed, we got different types of weeds like that we got different flowers and we can trade with the wanderings furniture trader and then we can duplicate them with bone meal which is really awesome so i'm excited i want to find this new stuff once i find a wandering trader i'm definitely going to show you guys ivy oh that's going to be so good for decorations a good duckin cook goose and a chicken that's interesting. We'll have to make that one day. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Animal Adventures with Eros. I'm very happy with all the different add-ons that we have in this world. Very, very nice. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Bye!